before you came to ACU, you played your freshman and sophomore year at Rice University, putting up some solid numbers there. Now, you decided to transfer to ACU, and you were granted a redshirt season due to the NCAA transfer rules. Walk me through exactly what it was like being on the team but not seeing any minutes on the court. Um, initially, I thought it would be just really hard, and it was just going to be a tough year for me in general, but um, it honestly was one of my best years of basketball. Um, I came back, and I was playing for a coach that I really like, love and enjoyed, and I just kind of fell in love with the game of basketball again because whenever you transfer, I mean, sometimes you just kind of you feel a little bit burned out. But I had a year just to, like, practice and get to know my teammates. And honestly, like, sitting on the bench and watching games, like, I learned more about the game than I probably ever could just, like, playing, like, on the court. So I was able to, like, watch and just have, like, a different perspective for the team. Now, in your first season as a Wildcat, you put up some great numbers. You're averaging 11 points per game, 7 rebounds, and you're shooting 52% from the court. These last four games especially have been phenomenal for you on a scoring standpoint. Now, what has motivated you especially to come out every night and put out solid numbers like those? Um, honestly, like any night can be a good night for um, our starting lineup. Um, we have like a bunch of people who are putting up really good numbers right now. And so um, there's going to be some nights where they're guarding our guards tight. And so those games, I know I have to step up and like make the shots that I need to. Um, and then just like motivating me is just like, getting wins. I mean, like our end goal is just to win games and win the conference championship. And so um, just whatever it takes or whatever my role is that night, I usually just take it on. There are four players, yourself included, averaging double digit points per game. What is necessary for a team to have that kind of success on the court? Um, it's, it's like incredible. Like this is the best team I've ever played with. Um, it's really hard for other teams to probably scout us or guard us just because we have so many um, just really good players who Obviously, like, everybody's like averaging double digits, like almost in our starting lineup. Um, it just makes our team that much better. We have a lot of depth. We can bring in people off the bench too, who can also put up numbers like that. And so it just it makes our team that much more special. So right now you're sitting at 12 and five on the season. You're only half a game back from first place in the Southland Conference. At this midway point in the season, what are your primary goals for you and your teammates to finish the season on a high note? Um, honestly, we just have to take it one game at a time. Um, our end goal, of course, is we want to win conference championship, and that's been our goal since way back whenever we met in, in the summer for our summer workouts. But um, it's just one game at a time. Like, as long as we get better with every single game that we play, I think that we can be pretty competitive in the tournament. Mm -hmm. And those goals will certainly be at test again when you play Stephen F. Austin this Wednesday at Moody Coliseum. What is key to coming out with a victory in that game? Well, I'll tell you, we're really excited about this game because we're finally coming back home. We just had a stretch of games on the road. And so we're really excited about being home this week, um, just like getting back into school, like just being able to sleep in our own beds and stuff. But we're excited about this game because we kind of played um, just like the bottom half of our conference. And so this is a big matchup, but um, we're just focusing on ourselves. As long as we get better every game, I think that we can come away with a win.